What's going on, y'all? So, Max here. Now, one of the things I don't like about the meta humans is that they come in an APOS for Unreal. Now, majority of the clothes that I use usually comes in a T pose, and the motion capture data that I use also comes with a T pose. So, with that being said, I had Yusuf, the IM expert, go ahead and create a script for us that automatically puts the meta humans in a T pose and characterizes it too. So, go to the description of this video and then download the script, and I am also going to give you the motion capture data that he used in this tutorial you're about to watch so you can follow along hello guys in this video i'm going to share with you a script that i've written and the script is an autoric script that rig a metahuman with a human ik with one click and you just need to copy the script and paste it in the script editor so i'm going to copy the script and open the script editor and in the mail section i'm going to paste it control enter as you can see the character is anti stand and rigged also i need to mention that your metahuman should be the second version that has finger feet if it's not you need to update it otherwise the script doesn't work this script also make extra joint for IK, for fingers, and hide the joints. And if you want to see the FK, you can toggle this icon. You can see the FK. It's a full body rig. It means that one controller can affect other controllers. And it's very important, very helpful for a keyframe animation and also this IK pool which I will cover in another tutorial. I need to mention that this rig with MetaHuman seems to be a little slow, but actually it's not slow when you want to play back the animation. It's not slow. It's just slow when you are using the controller. In order to make it faster, you can hide uh, the head geometry for body I'm going to hide the flip-flop and body and unhide the combined mesh so combined mesh has a head too and it is useful for motion capture if you want to preview motion capture as you can see it is fast let's talk about motion capture I'm going to drag the motion capture into an empty scene and this is the motion capture and I'm going to characterize it. Right click, get some preferred angle. And from here, create character definition. And select one joint and selecting HIK, lock. And now I'm going to save this scene, which already I have saved as mocap. And I'm saving it on top of it. And in the other scene, I'm going to, um, I can import it, but there is a better way because you want to get rid of the motion capture later after baking the animation. You don't want to have extra file in your scene. And instead of importing it, I'm going to reference it with, with the, uh, the shortcut of uh, Control R, or you can do it here. Create reference, Control R. I'm going to import the mocap. And as you can see, it has a namespace, a no cap character one. So I can, from character one to mocap character one. And as you can see, now it's working. and if you want to bake the animation you can bake it or if you want to export this for unreal the only thing that you need to do is select um, one of the geometry which is body in this case even you can select flip flops it doesn't matter um export selection and uh, when you are going to export it 
you select make sure that you select animation and bake animation this way before exporting for unreal it bakes the animation on the metahuman thank you for watching